Accountability Lab Zimbabwe works with communities to improve knowledge about local problems, the accountability challenges that causes them and drives conversations around accountability, integrity and impunity. The lab is part of the Accountability Lab's global translocal network and is implementing the new narratives for accountability in Zimbabwe project in collaboration with Magamba Network. Amongst the initiatives under implementation are the Accountability Incubator, Civic Action Teams, and Arts for Change incorporating Voice to Rap Zimbabwe and the ALZ Film Fellowship and the Integrity Icon Campaign. Let's look at the lab's work and achievements in 2022. 2022 was a, a very interesting year for us at Accountability Lab Zimbabwe. We began to see some of the results uh, of the work that we had uh, invested in in the startup uh, in the startup phase. Civic Action Teams is a community engagement initiative that seeks to promote co-creation of solutions to community challenges based on evidence-based dialogue between communities and their power holders. We noted improved accountability on the side of the service providers. We noted that the local authorities were becoming more responsive to the challenges that were being raised by the community. One such example was in Goromonzi where informal traders there were very unhappy about the lack of designated space for them to be able to sell their wares from. This was resulting in them coming into conflict with the local authority police. However, after a series of engagements that were facilitated through civic action teams, the Goromonzi Rural District Council responded by constructing a market in Ward 16. Film Fellowship um, is an annual fellowship where we pick 10 up-and-coming filmmakers who are interested in telling stories around social justice, around issues that are affecting young people in their communities, and also holding their leaders accountable. So we have these 10 young people, they spend the whole year being trained on the social issues, learning about accountability, and of course, how to use um, filming equipment, um, the technical side of making films. And at the end of the year, they create a film um, individually, and we have these 10 films um, that will be shown at the annual um, film festival. I am a Zimbabwean journalist who was part of the Accountability Lab Film Fellowship for 2022. And uh, the experience was blissful, I wouldn't want to lie. Uh, it was eye-opening. Um, we were taught on a number of things, including uh, basic accountability. Most of the times when we hear about accountability, we think about it on the part of other people, not appreciating that we also have a part to play. As a journalist who was coming from a media background whereby we mostly tend to focus on negative stories among other things, I learned that there are also beautiful things that are happening in the various communities that we're living and it's also important that we focus on those and strike a balance between the positive and the negative and that's how I'm playing my role as far as the issue of accountability is concerned. Personally, I've gone to produce a number of stories uh, that are now of better quality. Apart from that, uh, some of the stories that I've done have managed to win me national awards, like last year. I won the Female Journalist of the Year because of a story I did on the plight of um, disabled voters. I also got an award that had to do with me being the mining journalist of the year because of the documentary that I did on coal seam fires and the impact they're having on people and animals in Wange. I was also taken in as a correspondent and uh, producer for an international news uh, TV. Uh, which is a development that I attribute to the Film Fellowship. I am 100% certain that if I hadn't gotten the exposure that I got through Accountability Lab and you know having my, my professional work refined, how I see things, how I do things, I wouldn't be in the position that I am in now. Quite a number of people who went through the fellowship uh, went on to win local and international awards. There is a film that was produced as part of that uh, initiative called Hair, A Disintegrated Notion, which uh, was uh, 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 critically acclaimed uh, both in Zimbabwe, featuring at the Zimbabwe International Film Festival, in Lusaka at the Sotamba Festival, and as far afield as, uh, as, 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 as New Zealand. And, and that in itself is testament to the impact of some of the work that was happening as a result of the Arts for Change uh, project. 
with the Voice to Rep, we have up and coming artists who are also interested in social justice, want to bring about social change and hold their leaders accountable. They spend the year learning about music, the practical side, the business of music, but they also learn about these social issues, how they affect young people and how change can be brought about. And at the end of the year, they each create a song and these songs culminate and into an album and then we have an album launch um, at the end of the year. So basically what we're saying is that we want young people to be involved, um, to be holding their leaders accountable, to make decisions and to basically talk about what they're experiencing in their communities, but we're also understanding that young people might not be doing that through the traditional forms of media and we're availing um, these alternatives um, in the form of arts, in film and in music. When I qualified for Voice to Rap, I took it uh as a step uh, towards uh, the upliftment of my career, I knew I would get uh, new opportunities. I knew uh, I would learn a lot about music. So voice to rap, uh, when I came to voice to rap, I started uh, learning the other things I didn't know about uh, music. And then uh, I didn't have a recorded track by then. But I started at voice to rap to have just one recorded track. I had the song, the song titled Penny Saw the Truth, which uh, was speaking about healing and reconciliation. Uh, I used that song uh, to preach the message of healing and reconciliation, actually, which was received well, and people supported me, and I emerged the winner of Voice to Rap in 2022. The song uh, awakened people uh, to the idea of healing and reconciliation. Uh, the, the way in which I put the song was not to try uh, to point fingers or to open all to us, but I was trying to send a message that it is high time we came together, tried to talk, to heal and reconcile. So the people liked the anger with which I brought the song, the healing and reconciliation part of things. So the people now wanted uh, us to have dialogues, there were dialogues amongst my villagers, community members, and also on social media platforms. That now is high time that we, we must preach. And also the youngsters, seeing that uh, my song, which is a traditional style, can compete uh, at national level, they also were inspired to take a cultural or traditional music, should I say, seriously. And now uh, more people or more youngsters in my area would like also to audition for voice to rap. Integrity Icon is a year-long national public participation campaign that seeks to name and fame honest government officials. Uh, so when I say national public participation um, campaign, it entails that citizens are at the center of this campaign, meaning to say citizens um, nominate people that go over and beyond within their communities and uh, this campaign also seeks to spark conversations around integrity and accountability within uh, the citizens and the broader goal of the campaign is for us to uh, foster a, a network of uh, change makers slash reformers in, in amongst our, our public servants. The campaign has had massive impact on the icons themselves. The campaign has also had a massive impact on the advancement of integrity and accountability amongst the public um, sector. So when I say impact, um, Mr. Chakwizera comes into mind. I was, uh, you know, excited, elated, when um, I got uh, a phone call from Integrity Icon to say your name has been um, uh, given to us that you, you, you be considered as a contestant in the Integrity Icon Award. I'd never heard about it. But um, uh, I had to ask them why, and then they said it is because of the work that you are doing. Mr. Eva Mota Mukachakwizra transformed a rural school into a modern school. How he did this was he operated the school as a business. Uh, they had a manufacturing unit that manufactured face masks for the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education. They had a tender to supply the Ministry of Health with the same face masks. The school had um, quite a number of projects. Uh, broiler projects, uh, road runner projects, uh, pig herder projects. The proceeds from these different project streams uh, were channeled back to the school to the extent that um, children from the less privileged were able to have their fees paid by the school. 
to the extent that um, the attendance for the school was 100%. No child was being chased away because of school fees problems. I received the, a number of offers from very big uh, schools uh, for, uh, for the post of heads or a head. And uh, I, I took my time to decide. Then after that, I decided to, to leave uh, uh, government. And now I'm working in a in a private uh, uh, in, in the private sector, but uh, I would say and attribute that to the work that we did, and also the recognition and publicity brought about by Integrity Icon. Uh, so yeah, it had a very profound effect and impact on my life, and also on others, and uh, for the members of staff whom I was leading. Uh, they learned a lot about the dignity of labor. Uh, yes, uh, and they, they send me messages every time to say, say we learned a lot from you. Um, so it, it, it was uh, something phenomenal and it had a, an impact on both those people I was leading and also others who have seen what we did. They are trying by all means to, to do better even under difficult circumstances. The Accountability Incubator is a program to train, mentor and support young civic actors and social entrepreneurs who are doing work to promote uh, accountability in their communities. So for a year-long uh, period, uh, we take these young uh, individuals through training, um, networking and knowledge building, just helping them uh, and giving them support to build their initiatives. My experience with the accountability lab was quite positive. I learned a lot of new things and I got to work on my mission and vision although I had already um, worked on some of the paperwork. I also learned um, the importance of trying to find out what people really need not just taking into consideration my own perspective. I realized the importance of trying to find out what the people need before I get the solution to everything that they want. Last year we had 10 uh, counterpreneurs from all over Zimbabwe. It was just exciting firstly to meet that uh, exciting crop of young people where we had for instance a young uh, woman who's using Taekwondo as a tool to to fight against uh, child marriages and uh, gender-based violence. We had uh, also young people who are doing work around um, uh, managing the environment, providing crucial information to people on uh, climate change, uh, which is a great thing uh, globally, since climate change is now such a crucial issue. Um, we also had uh, young people uh, running new media houses that are doing work focusing on telling humanitarian stories, uh, doing solutions journalism. Um, in a country where we've previously had people focus on complaining, it's great to have these new initiatives that are focusing on flipping the narrative. During my time as an account entrepreneur, the success stories that I can share are that I managed to learn how to raise awareness. I was in this, but I didn't know the right ways, the right channels to share and also raise awareness. So by being an account entrepreneur, I can say, I'm now capable of raising funds, of raising awareness, and I'm now capable of knowing the right channels to go along. On the incubator front, again, a lot of uh, commendations to people who participated in the initial and second uh, uh, cohorts of that particular project. One of our um, account entrepreneurs, Courtney Mukoi, actually went on to win the World uh, Democracy Innovation Award and went all the way to Paris to receive that and then and that uh, in itself was something that was worthy of celebrating in 2022 and is, uh, is only uh, one of the many examples of uh, awards and accolades that uh, our beneficiaries received and the impact that their work had not only locally uh, but also globally. We had many other great experiences in the incubator in 2022 uh, including having a training workshop on, uh, on civic engagement, leadership, uh, and accountability, relearning, relearning what we called a clear workshop where we had leaders from the civil society sector, um, people with many years experience such as Joima Benge, upcoming activists such as Namatai Kwekweza being there to, 
to share their knowledge on things like uh, leadership, uh, on civic engagement, and uh, doing accountability work. Uh, all those were just exciting activities that we had in 2022 as part of our of our quest towards uh, building an ecosystem of young people who are working to bring about positive change in their communities. 2023, um, we promise uh, more of the same, but better. Uh, what that means is that we are going to continue uh, with the initiatives that we started running about two to three years ago. So the Arts for Change program will continue. Uh, the Civic Action Team's initiatives will continue. Integrity Icon will continue as will Accountability Incubator. But part of what we are going to do in 2023 is also begin the process of um, introducing new initiatives that are emanating uh, from some of the lessons that we have learned uh, from programming in 2022. One of the things that I'm most excited about in 2023 is a campaign um, uh, that we have brainstormed and will be launching soon called Make It Make Sense, where we hope we can be able to crowd in uh, creatives to do the work of uh, explaining some things uh, in accountability work. Uh, they can be Auditor General's reports, they can be laws, um, they can be situations in ways that ordinary people can understand. The challenge there is going to be to use all manners of, creat of creatives from filmmakers, musicians, cartoonists, writers, poets, to use their medium to explain these things that we think uh, may be of importance to the people of Zimbabwe and critical to the accountability conversation and to explain them in ways and formats that ordinary people can, can understand. So be on the lookout for that. It's something that is in the cooking pot and very soon uh, we will be ready to serve it.